found a way uh, to come up with a victory today. I'm proud of everybody in here uh, that gave up their individual selves for the team today. That's attitude. That's really the most important thing to come out of this, other than we send our seniors out winners. Congratulations. <laughs>Coach, when you play Navy, it's a week as much as any that requires the attention to detail because the defense is on the field for 42 minutes, the offense only has seven possessions, but you guys had the grit necessary to get the win. Yeah, it was a hard fought game and we knew that going in. You need all those traits necessary to beat them and you need the physicality that um, is required to stop this triple option. Navy was at its best. Uh, we knew it, they played their best against Notre Dame. Uh, but our kids found a way to win, and it was a, a great victory. Navy came in averaging about six yards a carry. You limited them to less than four, and they ran it 72 times. What allowed the defense to be successful? Well, I think uh, some of the things you mentioned. Uh, we were focused. Our, our guys were locked in on their responsibilities and their job. Uh, they did their job. Uh, but again, there were some crucial times when we needed to do a better job, especially in third and fourth down situations where they were able to stay on the field. And, and it goes back to what you said earlier, it limited the possessions that we had. And then that puts a lot of pressure on your offense to be extremely efficient. So it made it for a very tight um, football game where we had to fight right to the very end. But I was proud of our guys. It's the first win that we've had by uh, seven points or less since last year against Miami. So uh, again, you got to win some of those close balls games and it was a good one to get. One of the times you guys did get off the field on on one of those fourth downs that first drive they had three different times where they came out on fourth down you get the stop because Greer Martini one of the guys in there to force the turnover on downs. Yeah Greer was um, outstanding and you're fighting for every inch out there and so when we obviously talked about how to defend this it was bend the ball carrier back and he did a great job in that situation of bending the ball carrier back um, gives us a big stop on fourth down and gives us the momentum uh, to go down there and put some points on the board. 
Greer had 15 tackles. Navy's head coach, Ken Niamatololo, sought him out after the game to make sure he's out of eligibility. What makes Greer so good against the option? Attitude, he has a great attitude. He goes in there, you know, wanting to do well in that environment. You've got to have the right attitude. You can't go in there thinking about, you know, am I going to get cut or my responsibility? And, you know, it's, it's a play after play. It almost becomes, you know, a, a rugby match in there where you've got to just stick your nose in there and you've got to grind it out. And Greer's just got a great attitude. And because of that attitude, it really allows him to excel. You guys swap field goals early on. You force a stop on third down, fumble on the punt, so Navy capitalizes on that. But similar to the NC State game on the block punt, you guys responded immediately with a touchdown drive. Yeah, it was a great drive. It was a quick drive. We needed to respond immediately, and I think that's a great way to put it, is that our kids didn't flinch. They came right back after a key turnover uh, with a quick touchdown and a really nice drive in the way we put it together. Uh, and um, it was really necessary for us to get the momentum back. And after a one for five start through the year, that was the drive where Brandon Wimbush really seemed to settle in. What did you notice from him just getting comfortable as the game went along? He made a couple of nice throws and that's, he's capable of doing that. He's, he was a little erratic early, throwing the ball high, a couple of high throws that weren't completed, uh, but he finished his throws off. Um, he was much more, I thought, decisive. And that's what he has to be, just decisive with the football. Uh, made some good throws to Kevin Stefferson. Um, and, and we were able to move the football down the field pretty easily. Navy started the second half with possession. They go up 17-10. You guys get the football back and it's another pretty quick drive and Josh Adams sort of set the tone with some hard earned runs there to set up the big one, his 30 yarder. Yeah, we told Josh, he said, hey, you've been off a lot in the second half. You're gonna have to earn some yards. And you know, I, I think he had about 105, 106 yards and he earned each one of those. He was physical. Uh, he took it to the Navy defenders and uh, that was a, a, a drive where I think he, he felt most of those yards, uh, but but they were much needed yards for us. How did those runs by Josh then set up the pass? Because right after his 30 yard run, Brandon Wimbush downfield to Kevin Stefferson for the touchdown. Well, the safeties were almost on the line of scrimmage. So as we defeated the, the front seven, two safeties were on the line of scrimmage virtually the whole day. And so when you saw a hole open up, it closes immediately because those safeties were so active. So it was an easy pitch and catch for play action pass. We brought the safeties down. Kevin was over the top and Brandon laid it out there for Kevin for the touchdown. The defense then forces the missed field goal. You guys go on an 11 play 80 yard drive. Another big one with some runs in there, but Kevin Stefferson really caught fire in the second half. Three big catches. You guys go ahead 24 seven. Yeah, that was a really nice drive. It was a nice mix of run and pass. Uh, Brandon made some nice throws and then uh, the touchdown pass was one that he missed earlier uh, where we had to settle for a field goal comes back with a similar route where he's got to make a nice touch pass uh, to a receiver on the run, hits him in stride, and he just uh, runs untouched into the end zone. You said all week you need to find ways to get off the field, whether that's third down or fourth down. Late in the game, you guys did it twice, first with Troy Pride's interception, and then Andrew Trombetti had the pressure on that last fourth down to force the turnover on downs and seal the game. Yeah, a really big play by Andrew. Andrew was able to get his, first of all, he bubbled the, the back and forced the back to get some depth. So even if he doesn't get a hand on him, it's not gonna be an accurate pass because of the, the depth that he had to get. Uh, and then he gets his hand on it and um, you know makes the play of the game, obviously, because at that point they had no timeouts. We were able to take a knee and end the football game. Big play by Andrew. It's such a unique opponent, a unique week of preparation. What do you take away from a game against Navy when you're, you're speaking a different language against the option? I think it, it, it's really just about how our guys prepare, uh, what their attitude is, and then finally winning the football game. You know, just simply finding a way to win. And it's very satisfying for our guys to come away with a victory in a game that is hard fought like this each and every year. We lost by one point the year before. Uh, each and every week, it's separated by a score or, or two. And, um, you know, just feel really good about the win and then move on to the next week. Before Notre Dame defeated Navy, the Irish honored 26 student athletes in a pregame senior day ceremony. Players like junior running back Josh Adams and sophomore cornerback Julian Love spoke after the game of the team-wide goal to send the seniors out of Notre Dame Stadium with a victory. Here's an inside look at how the Irish outlasted the midshipmen and let their seniors sail off in style. Let's go behind the scenes with this week's icon. 
What is your attitude as it comes to Notre Dame football? What are you willing to do for your teammates? What are you willing to sacrifice individually for Mike McGlinchey, for Niles Morgan, for Greer Martini, for all of our seniors? What are you willing to do? What's in your heart will determine the outcome to today's football game. Make no mistake about it. And here come the Irish. This is what this team does so well. It's third and nine. They're not panicking. They'll be happy to run the ball here. They're going to toss it to the edge with John Brown, the third. He'll dive across the 35. Navy does line up on fourth down, like you said, Don. They're going to go for it. Here is the snap. Navy runs. Notre Dame hits. Navy is stopped. And Notre Dame will take over the ball. Tony Jones runs power, breaks through it, up the middle, inside the 15, and down to the 12-yard line. Notre Dame's challenging for the game's first score. 29 yards for Justin Yoon on this field goal attempt, and through the rain and the wind, he'll knock it through for three. The quarterback, Zach Aby, who keeps it, and ducks under for the touchdown. And Navy takes the lead here in South Bend. Fair play. Games. Which team separates right now? Here. See if Wimbush can get points on the board before halftime. There's a pass complete to Kevin Stefferson. Stefferson knocked out of bounds of the 40 yard line. Good gain on first down for Stefferson. This is more Brandon Wimbush's wheelhouse now. Two minute situation. He knows it's relying on him to move around, run, throw the football, put it in his hands. 23 there. Wimbush on the run here, and he'll get to the 31 yard line. Here he is on the run, and he goes to the goal line and in for the touchdown. For the 14th time this year. And the midshipman will get the ball to start the second half. One play at a time. Do not get ahead of yourself. It's going to take us every single play to win the game. Battle for every inch on this field. Every inch. Let's go win for our brothers. Send out our seniors in this last time at home. Let's go win a football game. <laughs>
880. First car you ever drove? Uh, Supra. One thing the public would be surprised to learn about you? I played baseball for 10 years. Thoughts on the video board inside Notre Dame Stadium? I love it. Player on the team most like you? Uh, Jay Hayes. Favorite food? Um, bacon. Which is better, a sack or a forced fumble? Forced fumble. Hardest hitter on the team? Me. Best singer on the team? Uh, Myron. Best dancer on the team? Mike Adu, Treyway. Best comedian on the team? Jay Hayes. Best comedian on the coaching staff? Um, Coach Elko. Best dresser on the team? Um, Brandon Wimbush. Worst dresser on the team? Tranquil. Player on the team most likely to become a football coach? Gummy Van Gorder. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? Um, under the lights. Niles Morgan, you have completed the 60-second drill inside Notre Dame football. Thank you. Thank you. Early in the fourth quarter, with the score tied at 17, Notre Dame faced third and eight from inside the red zone. That's when Brandon Wimbush connected on a crossing pattern with Kevin Stepperson for the wideout's second touchdown of the day in a career-best performance. That play is this week's Notre Dame Ticket Exchange Vivid Seats Play of the Week. So it's a big third and eight in field goal range. Wimbush wants the touchdown. He's got the touchdown with Stefferson. It's time now for the experts at TireRack.com question of the week for Coach Kelly. This week's question comes from James Strasser of Arlington, Texas. Coach, now that the home schedule has concluded, what are your thoughts on the video board? Was it a help or a hindrance? Well, I, I really think it helps in a lot of areas. I mean, you know, it certainly is able to uh, highlight who we are as a university, um, whether it's our the faculty that we're trying to uh, show in terms of uh, how esteemed they are, um, uh, whether we're thanking, um, you know, the, the jet fighters that, that fly over Notre Dame Stadium. With its record sitting at nine and two, Notre Dame will make the annual Thanksgiving weekend trip west to California, where the Irish will meet another top 25 foe in Stanford on Saturday night. Junior running back Bryce Love has rushed for 16 touchdowns and more than 1,700 yards, while averaging nearly nine yards a carry for the Cardinal. What is the challenge going up against a back like that? Tackling him uh, and not letting him get out. I mean, certainly his uh, explosiveness is, is well chronicled. I think he's got as many big plays as anybody in college football at, uh, at uh, you know 20 plus yards. So he's a guy that can turn a small run into a big run. So we've got to get him down at the line of scrimmage. That'll do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football. Jack Nolan will return next week with all the highlights from the regular season finale between Notre Dame and Stanford. Until then, thanks very much for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football is presented by TireRack.com and brought to you by Team Notre Dame Partners, Coca-Cola, Under Armour, and Gatorade. Inside Notre Dame Football is also brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of Notre Dame Athletics, Vivid Seats, Canon, Xfinity, Delta Airlines, Proud to be the official airline of Notre Dame Athletics, Nissan, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, and Sirius XM.